Police are investigating a tragedy in Trenton. Two brothers shot and killed in their own home. Eyewitness News reporter Matt Petrillo is in Trenton tonight, and Matt, police believe that that home was targeted. Just that's right, but police are still trying to figure out who was the intended target. Now, if you take a look behind me, you can see a makeshift memorial outside the home. Neighbors tell us it's truly unimaginable to think what the victim's family is going through after losing two boys. Man, I'm not going to see them no more. Antonio Perez's two little brothers were taken from their family too soon. I can't see that image in my head. It hurt, bro. Trenton police swarmed the 200 block of Mulberry Street in Trenton around 10:30 Tuesday night, shortly after they say a gunman opened fire from outside. Police say eight-year-old Johnny Perez and his brother, 16-year-old Gustavo Perez, were on the second floor of this home when they were each shot and killed. A family friend provided us this photo. You can also see a bullet hole left in the window. I lost my two little brothers. Some stupid war that's going on out here. Trenton police say the suspect ran from the scene after the deadly shooting. Officers also believe the home was targeted. Now Trenton police are working with the Mercy County Prosecutor's Office to figure out who was the intended target. One of the um, victims was familiar with us. The Trenton police director revealed Wednesday one of the victims had a history with officers. I didn't want to go into that because I don't want to cloud uh, what happened last night with their prior history. But as police work to find a motive, the victim's older brother Antonio tells Eyewitness News the deadly shooting may have been karma. I remember everything I've done, bro. I heard a lot of people and I think this is karma, bro. This is karma. And he wouldn't elaborate much more than that. Meantime, police tell us they're reviewing security video from this area. No arrests have been made, though, and anyone with information is urged to contact police. Reporting live in Trenton, I'm Matt Petrillo, CBS3 Eyewitness News. Okay, Matt, thank you.